So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce him now um, via um, Ghana, just like the filmmaker John O'Connor himself, um, representing the UK via Ghana, I should say, Mr. Tug Star, who is a recognised poet on the spoken word scene, and it is, you know, everyone knows him and knows how good he is. Who is a great, great, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. Tug Star. Thank you very much. Um, since Muscle Man did the reggae version, I'm going to do the banger version of my <laughs> <laughs> um, This first poem is called um, New Talking Ancestors, and it kind of reflects the migration of you know, our people from Ghana, from my parents specifically from Ghana here to the, to the UK. It's like the ending of something is the beginning of something new, like occupying small times in life's ongoing cycle. It's like Africa's rise is only a matter of time, like our sufferings are known near the end of its reign. So years from now, our offsprings would say, damn, our ancestors' life sure was wild. Like the journey from African villages to London city homeowners. The journey to the unknown, leaving friends, family and all. Sacrifice and hope that they could achieve a better life. But the problem with migration is the problem of distance. It's the problem not knowing the reaction of your offspring to their own origin. Not knowing if they can relate to their family, friends and cousins. And if they do, will they be respected? You see, it's hard to go home and have to justify where you're from when you're born and bred so far and broad. But it's not, so far, it's not hard for us to taste it when we see it. For us to recognise it when we know it. See, there's nothing like going home knowing this is the place in the entire globe that you're from. You see, I've been throughout the entire globe and there's nothing like this good God earth like home. So my grandfather now asked me, what have we done to have God start hating us? And to be honest, those thoughts have gone through my head more than once. The hardest working workers who work for nothing or work to stay abroad. So I dedicate this poem to my family back home, to my auntie who were trying to sell everything just to earn a little something. And if I never said it before, know deeply from my heart. I love you all. Thank you very much.